Hello, uh, so uh, as I have presented before, I made the ESP32 monster board which has a user interface and a canvas interface and the binary can be uploaded through the uh, CP2102 or uh, Silicon Lab USB2 serial interface. Of course it has a ESP32 in the back side. Actually uh, this board has some potential issue especially for some user not all user some people want to use this for some fixing but there is no fixing the hole and also some people feel their their module backside is not so good uh, because uh, it's some fear of destroy all the modules on the backside so this time i made a modified version this is a new monster board as you can see everything is top side it's moved to the top side almost the same circuit except for one point there this point as you can see here just one jumper is added we can switch the power source if we insert the jumper pin to the upper side of the two pin, this board will work with lithium polymer. And also, by inserting the USB cable, automatically the lithium polymer battery will be recharged. But if we insert the jumper pin to the lower side, in this case, the simply this board will work by bus power. And uh, actually the, the circuit is almost the same, but uh, this time I made four holes and it's very easy to fix and also no fear of destroying the modules. Now let's see how it works. Actually the same binary, same source code will work. Just connect the ESA cables and uh, USB power and uh, now it is work, uh, adjusted to the USB bus power mode and uh, now I switch on Text. yeah now it's not assigned yeah now the IP address is assigned to the DHCP servers yeah it is working and uh, much more smarter I hope so this is a new ESP monster, ESP32 monster board. Have fun!